Arthur P.O.P. JK was a heartless gangster as he always lived alone because he don't have a family, he's orphanage. His parents died in an accident later, his one and only friend family took him with them as they give him shelter to live. As JK grew up, they make him involved in gangster activities with them by doing wrong work. He becomes so rich and the biggest gangster of their town. While on the other hand, Warren is innocent, simple and beautiful girl who belongs from a middle class family. One day, JK with his friend Suho while driving his car. Suho. JK, finally we done one more mission very neatly. Now I'm feeling like we should do our favorite thing, smiling. JK raises one eyebrow. You mean by drinking? I already know Suho. Our spot is just coming in minutes. Have some patience, okay? Smack. Suho. Ah, uh, okay. I have patience, okay? But I think you shouldn't lose your sense again like the last time. You know, right? You are a heavy drinker and you lose your patience. When it comes on drinking, the last time you drank too much that I got to carry you and you are happy. I won't carry you this time, keep in mind. If you agree with it, then only drink or else do me a favor and don't drink. JK immediately stopped the car and faced towards Suho. What you gotta be kidding me? When did I drink this much that you got to carry me home, huh? Suho amazed and kinda shocked. Hold on a minute, I think you gotta be kidding me. Don't you act like you forgotten everything. Explain him everything in detail that happened that night. JK, I really don't remember Zuho. Maybe I really did it. He started the car again and drive to the bar while entering inside the bar. Maybe I remember now. Other people after drinking a lot that JK forgot everything. But as they started drinking in the similar way as that day, he remembered everything. JK, thinking, yes, he is white. I really drank it quite overloaded that day. After some time, he told Zuho. Hey Suho, let's go now. I think this much is enough for today. I won't drink a lot today, like that day. Let's leave now, Suho. So finally you remembered. Anyways, let's go. Arthur P.O.P. As they step outside of the bar, they saw a beautiful girl standing at the bus stop which is in front of the bar and she was wine. Wine just came back after completing her studies from another city as she was quite in confusion because she couldn't able to find the way to her house. Suho, amazed by Vine's beauty, hey JK look over there, that girl, she's so dropped and gorgeous. JK looked towards Vine, yes she is beautiful, Suho, let's go talk to her, maybe she will give her number. JK, no, no need to give a try on that girl. Do you think after seeing you this drunk where you can't able to stand properly, she will be impressed by you and give you her number? I think we should go now. So, ah, uh, JK. Okay, let's go. You are right anyway. Author POP. JK went to his car but Suho secretly took Ryan's picture and went to JK's car. Suho secretly looking at Ryan's picture inside the car. JK suddenly noticed Suho but chose to stay silent. In mind, what is he doing? Well, leave it. Author POP. On the other hand, Wan. Wan, oh gosh, it's almost midnight and I'm still stuck here. I better call my brother. I also wanted to give them surprise but it's still. Author POP. She called her brother as soon her brother went to pick her at Wan's home. Wan's mother. One, it's okay that you want to surprise, but coming alone at this time isn't safe at all, my daughter. Wine's father, yes, she's right, Wine. You don't know this area is well known for very dangerous gangs here. It's, it's not safe, especially at night. I hope that no gangster eyes gone on you. Why am um, curiously by that? Wine's brother, because sister, you are beautiful, that's why. Those all gangsters belong from assassin family and they are so dangerous don't go outside alone at night okay wine okay i will not thinking if this place is that much unsafe i think i will take my family with me author pop the area was only unsafe because of jk and suho rest gangsters aren't that dangerous next day morning suho went to jk jk wake up JK getting annoyed by noise. What's wrong, Suho? Today is holiday. We don't have to work today. Let me sleep. Suho, I know today is holiday. That's why let's go have some fun. JK woke up. One, Suho, yeah, let's go. We will do party. JK, see, I'm not in a mood to go anywhere. But I know 
If I won't go, you will gonna fill my ears with your complaints. So let's go. Wine welcoming downstairs. Brother Lee, where are you? Wine's with her. Yes, Wine. Say, why are you calling me for? Wine, happy. Brother Lee, can you go market with me, please? I have to buy stuffs. Wine's with her. Okay, sure. I'm waiting outside for you. Come fast. Wine, sure. She get ready and went market with his brother. Otay POV, after reaching market, she started shopping while JK Suho was passing by and suddenly Suho saw Wine. Suho suddenly get shocked. JK stopped the car at start right now. JK, now what happened? Did you saw that girl again, huh? Suho, yes, look over there, JK. JK, don't pull around, Suho. As he looks over there, he found one shopping. Suho, see, I'm not joking. She's really that girl. JK, yes, she is. So what you gonna do? Suho, what what I gonna do? What you mean by that? You know I like that girl. I want her. JK, alright, let's go get her. He started going out with his gun. Suho hold his hands. JK, what are you doing? Why are you always ready for fight? I mean, let's first talk to her. Maybe she will like me too. JK started laughing. I don't think she will like you. Moreover, consider yourself lucky even if she ready to talk to you. Instead, do what I say. Let's take her with us directly. Suho, um... You're kinda right, I guess, but I'm also handsome like you, okay? Get her information for me, okay? JK X hosted me, can't you go by yourself? Getting out of car, I'ma show you how to do your work neatly. Thinking, while moving, Suho told me to talk to her nicely, but that's impossible for me. Let's go try it, or I will take her directly with me. Wine's brother. Sister Wine, I think I parked my car at the wrong side. I will just come back after parking it on right place. Wine smiled. Okay, Brother Lee, I will wait for you. Busy in shopping again. Auto POV, Wine collected a lot of things and started taking them to the cash counter but some things fell on ground from her hands as she holding a lot of steps at JK went and picked the drop things. Wine. Oh, thank you so much, mister. As JK looked up at her and Wan looked at JK, she became shocked because she found JK so attractive and too handsome. JK, that's okay, miss. I think you have carried a lot of things already. Am I hold this for you? Well, where are you going checking them? Wan thinking, who is he? He's so handsome and he seems to be a perfect looking guy. To JK, that's okay, I can carry them, you don't have to carry them for me. JK, while smiling, uh, that's totally fine miss, just tell me where are you taking these, I will help. One, alright, I'm taking them to the cash counter. They went to the cash counter and gave them for billing. JK, what about, what's your name miss? Author POP. As the guest counter owner also asks the same question for billing. Well, um, my name is Kim Wine. While looking at JK, author POP, after the guest counter owner asks Wine where she lived and Wine told him about her address. JK, hope oh, you got a beautiful name, just like you, Miss Wine. Well, nice to meet you. My name is Jeon Jungko. Wine, thanks. You have a very nice name too, Mr. Jeon Jungko. And nice to meet you too. JK, I know that we met first time, but I have seen you yesterday as well. Wine, ho, really? But I don't remember, sorry. JK, I saw you at the bus stop, Miss Wine, and I don't know how I met you today. Wine, ho, oh, that's a coincidence. I actually came here yesterday only, that's why. Well, my brother is waiting for me. I have to go now. It started going. JK seeing Wine leaving. Hey, wait, can we meet again? Wine. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed for this. JK, actually, I should say truth. My best friend really likes you, but he's kinda shy. 
could tell you. That's why I came here to meet you. Why? Oh, that's the matter. Thanks that your friend likes me, but I don't want to date. I'm not ready for this yet. Thanks, I should go now. JK, but... JK, fake smile, but as soon as Juan leaves, he also went to his car. Suho immediately asks JK, what happened? Do you got her information? Did you tell her about me? What she replied, JK, in quiet anger, rolled his eyes. Yes, I did what you said, but she refused to date you. Okay, just because of you, I went to talk to her nicely, but I guess if you want her, directly take her with you. Understand? Suho, really? She refused? Let's take her with us only. You're right. But what's her name? JK, her name is Kim Vine. I will get her all information you just see. Suho, oh, okay, but I'm quite in confusion. When you were going to meet her, you were thinking to directly take her with you. If she refused, but you did oppose it. For the first time, you let her go. This easily. If you wanted, you can take her directly. But you let her go. Did you fall in love with that girl, huh? JK looked towards Suho, then started driving again while deeply trying to figure it out why he really let wine go in low voice honestly i don't know why i did it i just normally talking well i don't know i literally felt something to be continued in next part thanks for watching and if you like this video please go like share subscribe to my channel signature handle signature in you bye bye guys